everyone, my name is Maddie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my November TBR, once again chosen by Daft Attack. So for anyone who is new here, Darts Attack is my monthly TBR game where I choose what books I read by throwing darts at this board and getting relevant prompts. If you want to catch up on the previous videos or just know how it works, it was all explained in the first video and there's a playlist linked down below and in the cards explaining all of that and to watch all the previous videos if you want to. Very quickly to run through how I did last month. I didn't do awfully, but I didn't do great. So these are all the books that were chosen for me last month. I have read the majority of them. The only ones I haven't read so far are Cemetery Boys, The Reckless Afterlife of Harriet Stoker and Akadamath. I am planning to read Harriet Stoker and Cemetery Boys before the end of the month because I am filming this a few days before the end of the month. And Akamath I have read 100 pages of and I've not finished it. The other one I haven't read is actually These Violent Delights, which I don't have this stack because I have on ebook, so I've not read that one either. So technically, I guess I'm going to roll over These Violent Delights because if I've not finished them, I have to roll them over. But I am also going to continue Akamath because now I've read 100 pages, I may as well finish it. So I didn't do too badly. I read the majority of them for sure. So I'm pretty happy, but yeah, there are definitely a couple I haven't got to yet, but will read before the end of the month and then one which I didn't even start. So that's being rolled over, which is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I'll be reading that in November. So it's technically the first book on November at TBR, but I will also be reading Akamath. So for anyone who has watched before, you will know that if I hit a colour three times, it means I have to add a throw. This is the tally for where I'm at at the end of the last game I played. As you can see, it is terrifying. I have four colours, which I'm already on two, four colours where I'm already on one. And then I only have two safe colours, which is absolutely nothing. So I am very much anticipating getting a hell of a lot of triples in this video and therefore having to add a lot of books. Therefore, I am going to cap it at 10. Normally I do six throws. I will be doing six again. If it gets to the point where I've had to choose 10 books, I will be capping it at that point because realistically, I'm not reading more than 10 books a month at the moment. So it'd be pointless for me to put 15 books on my TBR when I know I won't read half of them. So 10 is going to be the limit. Hopefully I won't get there. I know it takes a little bit of the fun out of it, putting a limit on it. But the last thing I want to do is put too much pressure on myself and send myself right back into a reading slump because I am still working my way out of one. I'm reading better, but it's by far not done yet. So I don't want to take that risk. I will also just very quickly say before we get started, there are two readathons I'm kind of hoping to take part in this month. I don't know whether I will, if I'm honest. The first is the Thousand Doors readathon, which is kind of a choose your own adventure readathon, I think created by Meg with Books. I'll link all the details for it down below. And it sounds super fun because depending on how you feel about the book you finish, you get a different prompt for the next one, which I think is just the first week of November. So I'm definitely gonna be trying to do that, but I don't think the prompts are out yet. So I'm gonna have to work that out as I go. The other one I'm doing is the Clear Your Shit Readathon, which I'm so excited for. Again, I'll link all the details for it down below. It's mainly over on Twitter though, and it's so much fun. And it's actually an eight week long readathon. So it's going through to December as well. And there are 24 prompts, which is a lot. So I'm not necessarily gonna match books to prompts right now because I'm not sure I'm gonna do it week by week, like they're actually structuring it or whether I'm going to double up. But I may come back to you at the end with an idea of what books, what are fitting what prompts, I may not. But I just thought I'd let you know that I am taking part in it because it looks like fun. And honestly, I love the Twitter so much. It's so sassy and it's brilliant. So I had to take part. As you all know, I change the prompt out every time I get it and I have this stack of prompts. I do also have this huge extra stack of prompts, which are all ideas given by you guys on the last video. Exactly like I said last time, if you have any ideas for prompts I could add, please leave them in the comments down below. I think I have over a hundred now, so that's pretty good. And I've already been doing it that if I get a prompt one month, it doesn't get added back in. So like all the prompts that chose me my books last month aren't on the board and won't be on the board this month. I think I'm probably now gonna be able to cycle them out for even longer, which is good because it means you won't get too many repeats. Some of these are quite similar to each other, but they all are a little bit different. So we will see what comes up. And on that, I think I probably need to choose the first prompt for this month. So I need to shuffle my two stacks together because, oh dear. So shuffling the two stacks together, though, honestly, they're in no rhyme or reason or order anyway. So the shuffling doesn't matter that much. And then choosing the first prompt we're going with. That one is the first one going on the board. And that is going in the spot of light green because that is the last one we got last month. And 
I guess we're gonna get straight into the first throw. I can't get over how chunky this stack is now. There's so many prompts to choose from, so hopefully it'll be interesting. Okay, so the very first throw, let's hope it starts me off nice. I'm not optimistic. I feel like this month is just absolutely going to be out to get me. The colors I'm trying to avoid are red, dark green, purple, and pink. So that whole top area of the board, we are just ignoring completely and aiming for the sort of bottom right, I think. But honestly, at this point, I think I'm going to have to accept that doubles are going to happen. So let's just throw. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm dreading this month so much, but dark blue. I think that's safe. Okay, so dark blue is colour. So the prompt was colour, which means I have to throw again, and this next throw does not count towards my, like, hitting something three times. This is within this one throw for dark blue. And whatever colour I hit, I have to match that colour cover. I guess. So whatever book I have to pick has to have that colour relatively prominently on the cover, dependent on what book I want to get to and therefore I might kind of cheat it. But we'll see. So I'm going to get another dart and we're going to throw that. Okay, so I can throw anywhere. Let's just see what colour I have to have on the cover of a book I am reading in November. Let's go! Red! Dark red! Okay, so the first prompt was colour and the colour that came up was sort of a dark red, which doesn't count as a triple or a double, thank god, because that would not be what I needed right now. And so for this I am actually choosing a book I really need to read this month, which is The Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart. You might question why I'm doing this for dark red. The spine is absolutely the perfect colour, so I am counting that, that's as good as we're getting. I don't know much about this, but I know it is an adult fantasy, it's the start of a series, and I know it's LGBT, and this is the Phase and Gaze book club pick for November. This is what we'll be reading, the live shall be at the beginning of December, so keep an eye out for that. As always, if you want to know more about the Phase and Gaze book club, which is a book club that I help host, check out the Twitter, there is a Discord or everyone chats all the time, lots of things, it will all be linked down below as it always is. But that is the first book going on my TBR, and I do know nothing about this other than it's getting rave reviews. Okay, so replacing colour, we are going to go with... Oh my god, there's so many. This is so bad. This one, which might be upside down, I'm not sure. And that is going on blue. Next throw. Okay, throw number two. We're somehow safe so far, so I guess let's carry on and hope for the best. I just have no idea how this is going to go. We're going to aim for that same area again, which I completely missed last time, so bottom right. Again, that kind of yellow, orange, green area, hopefully. Slash just anywhere and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Ooh, bullseye! Okay! I'm pretty sure when I created the game that a bullseye meant I could either switch out one of the books or prompts that had already come up and kind of just write it off and choose a different one instead. At this point I don't have one to choose and normally I'd therefore say it's just null and void, I don't use it at all, but I can see this month going horribly so I'm gonna kind of keep that in my pocket for if things go wrong I might pull that in later and use it. If I get a triple or something I won't use it to get myself out of choosing an extra book, but if a prompt comes up that just really doesn't fit what I want to read, might be using that later. It feels very satisfying to get a bullseye, that's really central so that's fun at least. I can't get over how central that was, that's the best throw I've ever done and it isn't even useful, so let's try again. I missed, of course I missed, why can't I throw? Okay, so that's my first miss, got two more until that means I have to add a book, so hopefully not that. Let's try again! Pink. I'm pretty sure that's on two. Pink's on two. Adding a throw. We saw it coming. We did. Okay, and pink is... Series. Okay, so throw number two got me pink, which was series, which actually, again, works out really, really nicely, because one of the books I need to read in November is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I have read this before, this is a reread for me, but I am hosting along with some other lovely booktubers a Daughter of Smoke and Bone read along from November through to January. I will link the video and the information for that down below. I do have a whole video explaining what we're doing for that, but therefore I need to read this in November and I would be reading it anyway, so perfect. This is the first in a series and I will be reading the whole series soon. Perfect! That works out fine! For anyone who doesn't know, this is a story following a girl called Karu who is in Prague and kind of allied with this strange person who she has been brought up by but doesn't know that much about. All she knows is she has to collect teeth for him and then all of a sudden one day she cannot access this person anymore and she gets launched into this whole fantasy world and finds out so much and it's fascinating, it's brilliant. YA fantasy but I would feel by the end it's kind of aging up from YA a bit. Brilliant series, it's one of my favourites, I cannot wait to reread this. And then replacing the prompt on pink from the ginormous pile of prompts which I'm going to drop at some point, we're gonna go with this one from the middle. 
Also, I'm sure I've said this before, but obviously I try very hard not to see what is on the prompts, so I don't explain what they are when they go on the board, but obviously I will always explain them when they come up, so if there's a prompt which makes no sense to you when putting it on the board, don't worry about it, I'll explain it if it ever comes up. Which it probably will eventually. But on to throw number three. Okay, throw number three. I'm giving up on aiming at this point because it doesn't work, so we're just gonna throw. I missed again. I say it every month, but I don't understand how I can miss such a big target so reliably, but throw number three. Light blue. Light blue is TBR Veteran. Okay, so that time I got TBR Veteran and I guess I'm gonna a little bit cheat because none of the books that I want to read at the moment are ones I've had for a really long time. Like, I've had some books for like five or six years that I still haven't read and just none of those appeal to me right now. But this one I've had for like two and a half years and that's pretty long for me. I feel like over a year kind of counts because normally I try and read books in the year of buying them. So we're going with An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. I have actually read this before. I've been dying to reread it now that the sequel is out. This is the exact kind of book that I think would be perfect for me right now. Kind of light sci-fi, focusing on like a early 20s character set in a big city and sort of just interesting. It's the kind of thing I want to read. So. I'm finally gonna get to read this. I've been meaning to read it for months and months and months now. Well, reread it. So that's counting for TBR Veteran. Again, maybe a little bit of a push, but you can't stop me. And I don't wanna get into a reading slump. So that's the third book. For those who don't know though, this follows April May, who unintentionally becomes the center of this huge viral thing when she discovers this statue out of nowhere, decides to name it Carl, makes a video about it, and it goes viral. Because it turns out these statues have appeared overnight all over the world. And then you get this light sci-fi kind of storyline alongside someone dealing with sort of sudden fame and social media presence. So it's fascinating. I loved it. Cannot wait to reread it. It's on the TBR. And then to replace the prompt again, I have too many of these. This is awful. We're going with that one. On to throw number four. Okay, so aiming is just completely out the window. It's not happening. We're just going to throw and accept my fate. So throw number four, I'm pretty sure. My brain is going today. It's been a big day. Yellow, that could be triple yellow. I might be in trouble. No, that's just yellow. That's outside the line, we're fine. And the prompt is rainbow. So the next prompt I got was rainbow, which I really like. I think it's a really fun prompt. And that is to pick a book where the color of the cover is different from any of the ones I've got so far. Basically to try and make my covers rainbow colored by the end of the TBR. It won't get quite that far because I've only got a couple chosen so far, but nonetheless, I already have a blue, a kind of purple and a white and red cover. So we're going completely different, Bright Yellow with XX by Ryan Hughes. Anyone who watches my videos will know this is the third time this book is going on my TBR. It was on my September TBR. It was on my October TBR. It's going on my November TBR. I want to read this so badly, but with a reading slump, a thousand page book isn't normally the best bet. And I've been in an awful reading slump. So this is happening in November partially because I need to review this and I've been putting it off because it's huge and I'm terrified. But I did read the first like 40 pages in what, September now? And I really enjoyed it. So I am optimistic about it. So this is a sci-fi mixed media mystery. I don't even know where to begin explaining this, especially since I don't really know what it's about, but it's just the most gorgeous sort of graphic, interesting book. And I cannot wait to get to it. So I'm going to get to it in October, in November. <laughs> and so I'm going to get to it in November if it kills me. Third time lucky with this going on my TBR and it's definitely a very different color to any of the other books. Yeah, it definitely hasn't created a rainbow quite, but it's different and that was kind of the point. The hope was that it would make a really nice rainbow by getting this prompt, um, but that has sadly not happened. We'll see if I have a rainbow by the end of the month, but I doubt it. Okay, so replacing that prompt, we are going to go with that one. So on to throw five, I think out of seven, which isn't too bad. I would have thought we'd have to add more by now. So let's do that. So, so many things already have two tallies on them at this point. I think it's practically unavoidable that I'm gonna have to start adding books. But throw number five, let's see if luck is on my side for once with this game. Light blue, light blue is only on one, but that might be a triple. Let's see. Oh, it's not. Oh, I've got away with it. Fantasy. Okay, so for some reason the board is really on my side and that was another single light blue, even though it's millimeters off being a triple, meaning I don't have to add a throw. And it got fantasy, which is a lovely, easy prompt, nice and simple. And for that, I'm going to go with Blaze Wrath Games by Amparo Ortiz, which I am 
so excited for. This I think is being described as a Latinx how to train your dragon. For anyone who doesn't know, when I was a child I adored, like adored the How to Train Your Dragon books and the How to Train Your Dragon movies are to this day some of my favourite films of all time. I love them with my whole being, I love them so much. So if anything is pitched as similar to How to Train Your Dragon, I am in instantly and this has been getting amazing reviews, it's a recent release, it's not too chunky, it's fun, YA fantasy, perfect for what I need right now. I don't know the plot but I'm guessing there's some sort of competition involving dragons, so two of my favourite things. And it's beautiful. I am obsessed with this cover. Look at that! Stunning! I love it. Very excited for that to go on the TBR. I don't think you can comprehend quite how scared I am to continue playing because it is going too well. It is going so well right now. I have five books, all of which are ones that I already wanted to read slash have been putting off for a long time. I've only had to add one throw. It's going too well! I don't trust it! So we're gonna pick the next one, I guess, which is going to be- oh, I've got two, we'll go with the back one. That one. And with that we're gonna go do the sixth throw, which I'm not even going to attempt to call the penultimate throw because it won't be, will it? It just won't be. There's no way this is gonna go well until the end of the video. It just won't happen. So throw number six. So I just checked my tally and there are only four spaces on the board which are safe, which are dark orange, light orange and light green and also pink because I've already hit that three times so that's kind of safe from here on out. That's not very many, that's less than half. I'm not good enough at this game for this. Let's go, let's see what happens. We're just gonna go dark green, that's safe, isn't it? Dark green is not in fact safe, I'm adding a throw. My memory is like a sieve. Let's see what it is. Randomize. So this time I got randomize, which is definitely less good of a prompt and I have to add a throw. So what I'm meant to do for this is either go on my Goodreads and hit randomize and see what book comes up, but I'm not going to do that simply because I don't have all of my books currently input into Goodreads that I own. I'm really behind on updating that. So if I was to do that it wouldn't include any of the books I've bought recently, which are honestly the ones I want to read most. So I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to go choose I don't know, five to ten books of varying levels of interest, some that I really want to read, some that I'm really not interested in, and then I'm going to do a random number generator on those books. So I'll be back in a second with a stack of possibilities. Okay, so I've got ten books, I'm going to attempt to hold them up, though I don't think that's going to go well. Oh gosh, no, this isn't going to go well. Okay, so I've got ten books here, I'm going to quickly tell you what they all are, they're in lovely rainbow order. We have Bunny by Mona Awad, Over the Woodward Wall by Shauna Morgaya, The Gracier by Kim Leggett, These Violent Delights by Mike and Nemreva, different to These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, A Beautiful Foolish Endeavour by Hank Green, The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins, maybe? Yes. Wolf Song by TJ Klune, Out of Love by Hazel Hayes, and Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. All of these are books I'm quite interested in. Some I've been putting off, some I've mentioned very soon. I have them in the order that I just showed to you and I'm going to random number generate 1 to 10 and see which one I'm getting. So generating the number... 10! Before the coffee gets cold! Okay, that works fine for me. I'm very happy with that. I'm also not sure if I hit this twice. I can't see in that camera but when I turned it around it said 10. So that's what I'm reading, Before the Coffee Gets Cold. This is one I was dying to read this month so that is actually... Perfect. How is this working out in my favour? I don't trust it. But I'm reading this and this is a kind of time travel philosophical Japanese translation book. I don't know but it sounds fascinating and it's a book I predicted five stars for myself in my recent five star predictions video so very optimistic. I now have nine books that I have to put away. Great! Didn't think that one through. Okay and replacing that prompt we've got two throws left so let's see what's going on. Let's go with that one. Hi, it's Editing Muddy here. Um, just very quickly jumping on to say I started, you know, editing the video as you do and discovered that my phone wasn't recording for the last three throws, meaning there is not footage of the darts going into the board and there is not footage of me showing you the prompts. So I do apologise, I will do what I can to piece something together. <laughs> I might try and film something. But yes, for the rest of the video, we don't have footage of the dart going into the board. And I do apologise greatly, um, my phone hates me. But carrying on with more throws and a little bit less footage than there should be. Apologies. 
Okay, throw in number seven again, anywhere. I'm not gonna win at this point. We're gonna get to 10 books, I'm certain of it. So let's just go dark blue. Yeah, shock horror, I'm adding a throw. But dark blue is match outfit. Yay. Okay, I am so excited. The problem that just came up is match outfit, which is one a lot of you guys suggested and I love so much. Um, and yeah, I'd have to pick a book that matches my outfit. So I am in this black and white kind of space-ish top. So it's not a perfect match, but I'm gonna read Middle Game by Sean Maguire. I feel like this just the vibe and the black and the white, and I really wanna reread this this month so I can read Over the Woodward Walls. So perfect. I'm so excited how well this is going. Also, I've got so many rereads on this TBR, but I'm in the mood for it. So Middle Game for Sean Maguire is going on my list. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what this book is about, it's one of my favorite books ever. It follows two twins who have kind of been created and possibly to become gods and they have very different affinities. So one has a really strong affinity to maths, another has a really strong affinity to language and they're kind of figuring stuff out and mystical things happen and it's so good, so confusing, so good. Middle game, let's go on the TBR. I'm excited. Okay, replacing the prompt for what I can only hope is the final time, but honestly I don't for a second believe will be the final time. That one. Final throw, please. I'm not even stressed because this is like a lot of books. I am stressed because I need to get to a meeting. <laughs> so if I hit what is safe, I've got my list here. I can hit dark orange, light orange, light green or pink. Or dark green or dark blue actually. There's more options becoming safe because I'm starting to hit them multiple times. So, oh, I don't know where a safe area is. There isn't really one. Um, dark orange, light orange, maybe? So the only safe area is really a dark orange, light orange, or dark green, light green. So I haven't got orange so far, but green is central. I don't know, we're just gonna throw. I missed again, but that doesn't matter. Oh, it does. Yes, that adds a throw. Bugger, okay, I'm up to nine. Ugh, okay, I'm up to nine. Let's just try and get eight, please. Pink, that's safe, that's fine. Fave song vibe. Okay, so the prompt I got this time is fave song vibe. And this again is very much one that you guys suggested and you suggest a lot to do with music, which I love because I love music so much. And so this is kind of just any book which I feel fits the vibe of my favorite song. And I didn't think this through when choosing it because my favorite song I would probably say is Water Fountain by Alec Benjamin. If anyone doesn't know Alec Benjamin, please listen to his music. It's phenomenal. He's one of my favorite, favorite artists. And my favorite song is probably Water Fountain by him. I have no idea what song fits that vibe. It's like gentle, but heartbreaking. And it's about betrayal and kind of missing out on not getting what you want. What the hell fits that? This is, I did not think this prompt through. I considered just doing the cover art kind of color, but I don't know what to do for this. Okay, don't ask me why. I don't have much logic to this, but before the coffee gets cold kind of gives me the right vibe. I don't know why, but obviously that's already on my TBR. So I'm gonna go with the sequel, which is Tales from the Cafe, which I think is just like extra short stories to do with that, which I'm also wanting to read. So that's, this, I don't know, but we're gonna go with that. It's, I can't explain it. We will see at the end of the month if I'm right. This prompt was maybe not well thought through, but it's fun, I like it. But replacing it, and that was a safe one, so I should only have one more throw. That one, final throw, throw nine. Okay, final throw. I don't even know what is safe anymore. I think we're gonna go for that green area again and hope for the best. Let's see. Dark green, that's fine. Triple dark green, doesn't matter. Okay, even page number. Okay, the final one, throw number nine. I have nine books on my TBR, that's not bad at all. And I just held it up, Over the Woodward Wall by Sean Maguire. Well, A Deborah Barker, which is the pen name for Sean Maguire. 204 pages, definitely an even number. I want to read this because I'm rereading Middle Game. So I want to read, that's why I'm rereading Middle Game. Other than the fact I want to reread it is so I can read this one. Perfect, that is it, that is the nine books. I will try and hold them up in a second, but I'm excited about this. Every single book is one I already knew I wanted to read this month. So although it's nine, which is a lot, and some of them are chunky, I'm not too worried about it. I'm actually quite optimistic. So that's super, super exciting. I, I'm gonna say this cautiously, but I'm trying to weekly vlog in November. One of the things I'm really finding at the moment is my reading is just up and down. Like I'll go from reading 
books every single day to not even picking up a book for a week and a half. My hope is if I weekly vlog, it will hold me accountable and maybe I'll actually read them all. So that is the attempt, nine books, I'm excited. This is heavy as anything, but here is the full stack. It's pretty intimidating, I'm not gonna lie, but they're all books I'm excited for, plus Akamath and These Violent Delights. So 11 books, it's doable though. So fingers crossed, I guess. Um, but that's it for the videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, as always, leave a thumbs up, comment down below what you're reading this month, or if you have any prompt ideas, please do let me know. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. If you want to check out the read along or the book club or just any of my social medias, they're always linked down below. So please check those out. But that is it for this video. So bye, and I'll see you in the next one.